The Turning is a 2020 horror film about a live-in nanny that is hired on to take care of two privileged and spoiled children after their parents have died tragically in a fire. This was a really bad horror movie. For starters, it was not scary at all. Uh, about 20 minutes into the movie, um, I started hearing heavy breathing. And I thought it was coming from the movie, and that kind of put me on edge. But then I realized it wasn't coming from the movie. It was from the fat guy uh, in the front row of the movie theater breathing very heavily. And that put me more on edge than the actual movie did. <laughs> this movie might scare you. If you're like 11 or 12 years old, and this is the first horror movie you've ever seen, this might put you on edge. This might scare you a little bit um, if you're easily frightened. <laughs> if you've seen a good haunted house movie, this is laughable in comparison. The script is laughable as well. A lot of it is like dialogue from Miles, the older brother Finn Wolfhard's character. Again, he's a great actor, and I feel like he does the best that he can with this script, but you never fully understand his character. I was constantly confused throughout the whole movie, like why he was doing the certain things he was doing, what motivated him to do these things. He says like some pretty over the top things and acts in certain ways that because you never fully understand what's going on with him, it is just funny almost. You feel bad for Finn a little bit. You're like, man, I wish he had a little something a little bit better to work with. There's another scene with the like housekeeper where she's just like unbelievably cruel to the new live-in nanny. <laughs> There's like one line, literally the 12 year old sitting next to me started laughing out loud because of like one of the lines that she had. It was just like so, again, you never fully understand the, the housekeeper either. It's like a, clearly she cares for the kids uh, and has been around a long time and has seen some things, uh, but that's about it. That's about it. You never really know much about her. She's just really cruel. If she was cruel in a way that like, again, made sense, you understand why she was that way, but you never really understand. So you're just confused by a lot of the character motivations. And then that comes out in the end, the ending of the film does an abrupt 180 to the story and it more confuses you than is satisfying. Like I'm all for movies ending on like a cliffhanger or ending on something shocking. This was not shocking. This just was confusing. <laughs> it just seemed like there was a, a, another ending originally and then they maybe had shot some stuff and they just wanted to do something completely different uh, is kind of the vibe that I got from it. And the more that my wife and I talked about the ending on the way home, it did not hold, hold up to very serious scrutiny. There's really only two things I liked about the movie. Maybe you've kind of gathered from this rant and that's, I liked the cast. I thought Finn Wolfhard was, was good. I thought he was really interesting in the movie. I thought Mackenzie Davis as the, the live-in nanny she was, I thought she was good in the movie. Again, as good as they could be with what they were given and how they were directed. And I thought that the, the little girl, uh, the younger sister in the movie, she was really cute, really good too. You could still tell they were talented actors and actresses shining through the, the, the steaming pile that they got to work with. But really the main reason I'd recommend seeing this movie is if you're like diehard fans of the actors and actresses that are in the movie. If you're like a diehard Finn Wolfhard fan, you should probably see the movie. That's the only reason I'd recommend paying to see The Turning in theaters. Certainly you could wait till it's out on, you know, on streaming. On the sweet and sour scale, plugging it in, I would say that it is spoiled milk. <laughs> the original product might have had something there, but it is spoiled. For more clarity, almost like a, um, maybe like a model or supermodel that's just ripped a fat fart that's kind of mental image. Are you kind of getting a clear picture of what the turning is? Thumbnail for the trailer of uh, uh, image of a spider on Finn Wolfhard's mouth. Never in the movie. And I was very ticked off about that because that was actually kind of a cool image. I was going to say maybe it'd be in the deleted scenes, but I'm not watching this movie again. So I don't know why I would even say that. So it's Dr. Point for that. My name is J. Mark Schwartzentruber. If you like this video, uh, check out the review I just did for Bad Boys for Life here in the end screen. As always, if you're like me and you like watching movies more than playing golf, consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>